Good morning and welcome to the first school assembly of the academic year 2022 to 2023. The prayer will be led by Asfia Saftara, the school captain. All are to rise. All are requested to repeat the grace. Please bow your head. O oh dear Good Shepherd, my guide and my light, be with me always, day and night. Teach me to do what's good and right, and always keep me within thy sight. Amen. All are to remain standing for the school song and the school prayer song led by the school choir.
All are to be seated. We now request Mr. Jacob Thomas, Mrs. Sarah Jacob, and Mrs. Sheila Alexander to take their place on the stage. The school prayer will be led by Adiv Reggie of grade 7. All are to rise. Join your hands, close your eyes, and please bow your head. O oh dear Good Shepherd, make our school a home away from our home. Make us always feel that we all belong to a family and that the teachers are like our parents. We believe that you speak through them when we listen to them. Give more wisdom to all concerned with us so that they may guide us always on the right path. Make us know your presence and power by rewarding and punishing us. Let us not become proud when we are rewarded and let us not become humiliated when you punish us for our mistakes. Give us enough strength to forget and forgive as you forgive us our sins. We thank you for the showers of blessings on this school for its growth and progress into a big and good school. Give us everything to make our lives in the school a happy one. This we ask for your love's sake. Amen. Thank you, Adiv, for leading the school in prayer. All are requested to be seated. Now, Adya Harlaka of Grade 10 will present the news. Good morning to one and all present here. The headlines for today are as follows. International news. Rocket carrying Venetian lab module blasts off. WHO declares global health emergency over monkeypox. Sri Lanka cabinet discusses ways to normalize situation within one week after the new cabinet was elected on Friday. Boris Johnson resigns as United Kingdom prime minister. National News, Draupati Murmu to be the new President of India. Sports News, Cricket-loving fast bowler Anderson Peters beats Neera Chopra to take Javelin Gold. Now, the news in detail. International News, the Venetian, which means quest for the heavens, will form the second part of China's three-module space station. The Venetian Lab module will provide a bigger platform for science experiments in space. It is equipped with biotechnology and variable gravity science. WHO on Saturday has activated its highest alert level for the growing monkeypox, declaring the virus public health emergency of international concern. 
WHO Director General Tedros Adhanom Ghebreyesus said the decision was made after the team held a second meeting, though the emergency committee didn't reach consensus. Sri Lanka's cabinet has met for the first time under newly elected president Ranil Vikramasinghe and discussed ways to normalize situation in the economic crisis that helps the country within a week by regularizing functions of the government institutions such as the prime minister's office and the presidential secretariat. The cabinet was informed that fuel sufficient for one month had been secured. Therefore, distribution under a quota system should be expedited. British Prime Minister Boris Johnson announced his resignation after he was abandoned by over 50 ministers and most of his conservative lawmakers. The Defence Minister Ben Wallace was the favourite among the party members to replace Johnson, followed by Junior Trade Minister Penny Mordaunt and former Finance Minister Rishi Sunak. National News President-elect Draupadi Murmu will be sworn in as the 15th and the first tribal president today. Russian President extended his greetings to her for being elected. He hoped that her activities would promote further development of the Russian-Indian political dialogue and productive cooperation. Sports news. The Grenadian Anders Peterson, who awed the world with three javelin throws over 90 meter to take gold in world championship in a com competition against Neera Chopra. Thank you and have a great day. Thank you, Adya, for keeping us updated with the current affairs. Shiv Punjabi of Grade 11 will now give the speech for the Assembly. Good morning, respected President Mr. Jacob Thomas. Senior Vice President for Student and Staff Welfare, Mrs. Sarah Jacob, Principal, Mrs. Sheila Alexander, teachers, and my fellow students, a very warm welcome. COVID-19, the only term we have heard quite literally for the past two and a half years. I know everyone seated here is tired of hearing it over and over again, but last year, our school was able to conduct in-person classes safely in the midst of one of the most dangerous and threatening pandemics we as humans have ever faced. Right now, the ge sorry. Right now, the general public opinion is that we are in the clear. The virus does not matter anymore, and it is quite easy to get back to our quote-unquote normal. However, I do not see it this way. As a fellow student, I can vouch that the feeling of not wanting to return to school after the summer never fades away whether it is with COVID in the conversation, whether it is with COVID in the conversation or not. Furthermore, many of the students and teachers seated here are new to the school. That in itself has its own feeling of uneasiness. If I'm not wrong, this is what it is to be part of a supportive, scholastic community like our school is about. Are we not here to equally help each other out and be the best versions of ourselves? If the audience has not yet decided what my speech is about, I think it's time I clue you all in. My speech is about change, the change we all had to endure from living our so-called normal to attending school at home, from being behind the screen and trying our very best not to doze off, to attempting to go back to normal while wearing masks, maintaining social distancing, and carrying sanitizers with us everywhere we go. Change is constant. It is up to each and every one of us to think of it as a burden or morph it into a stepping stone towards becoming, as I said before, better versions of ourselves. I'll give a quick example. Last year, my batch was 10th graders. We were the first batch of GSIs in over two years to actually attend our written board examinations. It was not easy. Imagine going from attending classes online to spending entire days studying just for a physics multiple choice paper. However, now, when I'm looking back at it, I'm quite proud of myself hatching out from, my, from the hard shell of my comfort zone 
I, I believe I've only become stronger. This feeling, these challenges are not singular to only students. Last year, our school held various competitions, whether it was dramatics, dance, or even the athletics meet. Shutting down a school that spans over 700 acres for even a year is not easy. And to go back to normal is most definitely not easy. But the question stands, what can we do? Moreover, this is quite an excellent example of how our school battles change. Our school's management was able to emerge victorious no matter the cards they were dealt. Right now, all of us are seated in our school's brand new auditorium, right? Equipped with state-of-the-art facilities. Can you believe that this school too battled through COVID? Our school's ideology is that nothing at all, whether it's COVID-19, monkeypox, or whatever world issue, should stand in the way of their path towards enriching our academic and co-curricular journey. I believe that it is this type of positive thinking that we all need to incorporate in all of our lives. After all, it was Wilma Rudolph, a celebrated athlete who once said, and I quote, believe me, the reward is not so great without the struggle. Thank you, and I sincerely wish everyone seated here a great academic year ahead. Thank you, Shiv, for enlightening us. Mrs. Sheila Alexander, the principal, will now address the assembly. Good morning, Mr. Jacob Thomas, President, Mrs. Sarah Jacob, Senior Vice President, Student and Staff Welfare, members of the Academy Council, dear students, and my dear teachers. The commencement of every academic year is always special at Good Shepherd International School, with new and existing students and faculty beginning anew. I would well, like to welcome all the students and the staff to the new academic year 2022-2023. This academic year, we have around 172 new students and 49 new faculty members. And do you know, boys and girls, we have a grade where all the students are new to the school. Can you guess which grade it is? Third, yes, the grade three. Can you just stand in your places, all the new students of grade three? Give them a big round of applause. <laughs> Only new students in the class. The new students, please be seated. The new students of grade four to 11, kindly stand in your places. Let all of us see. Grades four to 11. Grades three also, you also can stand. You're also new. No problems. Give them, please welcome them with a round of applause. Please be seated. The next is, we also have some new staff members who've joined us this academic year in the academic co-curricular and the administrative department. First, I would like to welcome Mrs. Meera Chabria. She's not here. She'll join us in a couple of days. Uh, she's a PYP coordinator who joined us this new academic year. Mrs. Sebastian Francis, HOD, Physical Education, and uh, Mrs. Shakti Devi, HOD, and all the teachers who've joined us this year. Could you kindly stand in your places? Please welcome them with a round of applause, boys and girls. Thank you so much. We have also a few of our staff members who will be reporting in the third and second week of August. They reported to the school and have completed the joining formalities, took part in the orientation and induction program, and they've gone back to complete a few of their professional and academic commitments. I strongly believe 
that are existing and our new teachers from diverse areas of expertise will expand and enrich our academic program and look forward to the rich and rewarding year ahead. As we look ahead and seek to engage with the opportunities and challenges, we continue to be dedicated and in strengthening our community. Create an environment, both students and faculty, to pursue their passions and future success. In order to support this, our president, Mr. Jacob Thomas, has initiated new ways to live our mission, educate our students, and advance our work by making strategic investments in technology-enhanced learning across disciplines and giving the best infrastructural facilities. This, in turn, has reinforced our commitment to becoming a safer, better, and even ever more vibrant space to live a life of learning as a community and in pursuing our vision of a more integrated living and learning campus. We start today with the new curriculum in GSIS, which is the STEM program for the primary and the middle school students. I take this opportunity to congratulate all the students and staff for the last academic year and for the excellent board results that we got. First and foremost, the Cambridge Checkpoint. How many of you all are there in grade seven who wrote the Cambridge Checkpoint six? Yes, I can see those hands. Thank you so much. You've done well, but you can do better. Big congratulations because all the students you have been awarded and they have achieved a goal level in global perspectives. That's wonderful. The Cambridge Lower Secondary Checkpoint, how many in the grade nine have written? Just raise your hands. Yes, long way to go as far as your academic results are concerned. You need to, you, we know where you're lacking, the areas that we need to improve in our instructions and learning and we need to do better in the IDCC examinations, which will happen in 2025, uh, 2024 for these students. IDCC March exam series, we did well for both the Hindi and global perspectives. Well done, students. And do you know when the results are coming? Grade 11? Louder? August 18th, yes. Okay. The ICC grade 10 results were published and we did really well. All our 20 students got distinction and we got sent them in history, geography, mathematics, chemistry, biology, and computer applications. If you have the students who've scored sent them, can kindly stand in your places and I request the teachers also, please give them a round of applause. It's not easy to get sent up. The teachers too. Thank you. At the same time, there were many students who scored 99. It's the effort of the teachers and the students. IBDP grade 12, the grade 12s, we had 56 students, 49 achieved, the, were awarded the IB diploma, two IB certificate, and three co-students. And the best part of this is, this is the first batch, they did not write their grade 12 written examinations. The current grade ICC, ICC, I'm sorry, IAC 12, had written a few components, a few papers in 2020. And then they took this, whereas the IBDP students, the IGCC, they did not write board examinations. You did well, but they did well, but they, there is scope for improvement and we are working on that. I thank all the students of the higher secondary school because you played an important role in the successful completion of the IBDP five-year evaluation. We had no matters to be addressed and we had commendations from the IB. That means our pedagogy assessment, what we are doing in school is right. So we need to better, there is scope for improvement, okay? ISC results, last evening we got wonderful results. All the ISC um, science students got a distinction, grade, um, and in English, all the students in the science stream 
got 90 and above. Congratulations. I think it's um, the teachers. The teachers, who, there were two um, uh, subjects where they scored a centum, uh, biology and commerce. I would request uh, the teachers to kindly stand in their places. Yes, Anil and, uh, yes. Thank you, thank you. I just want everybody to know what we were doing. Simultaneously, it's not only an academic program, our music program, we had a rich music program, two years online, but we ensured that you came back, got involved in your practical and theory, and we had quite a number of students taking the practical examinations, you prepared the curriculum, your teachers taught you, it was video recorded, sent to Cambridge, sorry, sent to Trinity, and uh, you were awarded distinction, merit, and pass. And for the TCL theory, we had 354 students who took the examinations. When we had 500 plus students on campus, we had 354 students, and 140 students obtained distinction, 85 merit, and 61 part. Give them also a big round of applause. The music teachers, please stand in your positions wherever you are. Thank you so much. Thank you. To those who dis have distinguished themselves by achieving 90% and above, getting distinction, the perfect score in various subjects, we are proud of you. For those whose results may not reflect your full abilities, I encourage you to continue your efforts to success. What you sow, you will reap. And we are here to support you. I express my sincere thanks and congratulations to all the teachers, the boarding house parents. Please stand in your places because they are the ones who are waking up, ensuring that. Give them a big round of applause too. The coordinators, they run the show from morning till night. Give them also a big round of applause. How? Thank you. Thank you so much. How is it possible to get these results? I, I will just continue with uh, what um, Shiv spoke. He said, change is the only thing constant. We need to change. We have changed. But... Is it your intelligence? Is it your genes? Or is it something that you have and the other person don't have, or the other person have and you don't have, that decides whether you're genius or not? It is not your genes, but it is your habits that decide what you are. Habits define us, they can break us and make us. Habits hold the potential to shape your life. The way you sit, the way you get up in the morning, the way you, you, you say your grace, your, 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 um, you take pride in singing the school song, the prayer song, say your grace in the dining hall. Develop your study habits, study skills. Wake up in the dorm, organize your cupboard, are all habits. And you have come to this place, to GSIS, to develop and learn good habits. Habits. And how are habits form? Habits are small choices that you make. And they are the daily actions you take. Choices and action. Even if you choose, if you don't act, it will not happen. Can you tell me if anybody knows how many days it will take for you to form a habit, a good habit? 21 days. Any different answer? I can see a hand up. Pardon me? One month? Okay, I will tell you, I will tell you. Yes, our general understanding is 15 days, 21 days, one month, okay? Everything you do today is a result of your habits. What you repeatedly do each day will end up forming you. It is crucial you're uh, in, in GSIS because... You are here to inculcate good study habits. There are three phases, three stages. From grade three, we need to practice this. All of us, including me standing here and preaching, I need to follow this, okay? Inculcate, inculcate good habits. There are three phases to achieve good habits. The first phase is called 
the destruction phase. It's creating new habit. To create any new habit, you need to let go your old habits. And that's why you all are here. That's why we all are here. Okay? We need to overcome our deeply rooted, ingrained habits. Casual, the way we sit, the way we walk, the way we get up. Okay? We need to break. Okay? And we need to battle our forces and inner demons. There's someone telling, no, it's not required. It's okay. Let the boarding house parents shout. Let the teacher, let the coordinator, let anybody, let the principal watch from there. I'm going to be like this. Let the speaker speak there. I'm going to talk. I'm going to nudge somebody. Okay? You need to break that. Until we, are, uh, until we escape and are able to gather some momentum, some stability. It's like a, a good mobile phone you buy. Okay? You buy it. What you have to do it? The first stage is you need to keep charging it. It is empty. So you need to break off and put that charge. And for the first destruction phase, it takes 22 days to just remove your old habits. Throw away that, it takes 22 days. Let's start from today. It's not easy, it's not 50, 15 days. And habits are formed in three phases. The second phase is called the installation phase. Once your battery, or your phone battery is fully charged, what do you do? You install things there, which is quite chaotic and uh, chaotic and irritable. It is, a, it is a process of self-revolution, transformation, and all that. It's frustrated because you, you don't know which app to download. You want this, you want that, you want this. It is a stage where you'll be battling and finding out what is best. But it's necessary in order for you to win. This is a stage for, true, uh, for a true warrior within you to shine and conquer. You need to install. After 22 days of removing those old habits, continue reinforcing that another 22 days. So how many days together? 22 plus 22? 44 days. And the last stage, the third stage is called the integration stage. When it all comes together, it becomes automatic. It becomes um, a routine. It becomes, you become a better version of yourself. All the sacrifice, all the suffering, waking up in the morning, your boarding house parent, it, workout is there. No, I can't, my head is hurting. My, my stomach is paining, I feel like vomiting. All this are in that first stage of destruction. Install it, start going. And then it becomes a normal. Your biological clock is fixed. Your prep roll call starts in the evening. You have roll call both in the morning and in the evening. If it starts at 8.45, see that you're there. 6.15, 6.10. Follow the instructions. Study, develop good study skills. Not looking here, checking one person standing there and telling if the teacher is coming. Absolutely no. You need to develop those study skills. And that phase is called the integration stage and it takes how many days more? Any guesses? Another 22 days. So at the end of 66 days, there's an automatic routine and you will be a better version of yourself. So today is 25th July. In next 66 days, the last week of September, try, you will become a better version and we, you're in that journey, you're not alone. Your boarding house parents are there, your teachers are there, your coordinators are there. We are all there with you and your parents, okay? So change your habits and change your life. Shiv said, change is only constant. So change your life and change by changing your habits. We only have to change our habits, nothing else, and take up. So as a Good Shepherd International School, we request you to take responsibility to experience teamwork and leadership, to encounter challenge, and to think for yourself. Be excited and passionate about everything you're bound to do. Set small goals and be committed to it and take the pleasure in whatever you do. I repeat, change your habits and change your life. Then there will be a few who will be trying to pull you down. Do remember 
when you have confidence in who you are, be confident. Nobody can break you. No enemy can stop you from being blessed. Okay? When you have confidence in you, there will be people telling so many things, pulling you down. No. You are confident. You are a child of God. You are blessed. So no enemy can stop you from being blessed. God bless. Thank you. And wish you all a great and fulfilling year ahead. Our co-founder and our managing trustee, uh, Mrs. Elsima Thomas, has conveyed her best regards and best wishes for the new academic year. Thank you and God bless once again. Thank you, Sheila Miss, for those words of wisdom. Now, the music department will present a vocal ensemble of an African spiritual song titled, Everybody Said That Anybody Could Do. Everybody said that anybody could do the important thing somebody should do. Everybody knows that anybody could do all the good things that nobody did. Everybody said that anybody could do the important thing somebody should do. Everybody knows that anybody could do all the good things that nobody did. Well, the preacher came to me and said that I ought to do. If I wanted to make my religion true, do it himself. But he really didn't have the time. He said that the duty was mine. Everybody said that anybody could do the important thing somebody should do. Everybody knows that anybody could do all the good things that nobody did. Well, the deacon came to me and said what I ought to do. Make my religion do, make my religion do, do it to help. But the deacon didn't have the time and said that the duty was mine. Everybody said that anybody could do the important thing somebody should do. Everybody knows that anybody could do all the good things that nobody did. Everybody said that anybody could do the important thing somebody should do. Everybody knows that anybody could do all the good things that nobody did. Well, I'm too busy, so I tell everybody the work's got to get done by somebody. It could be done by anybody, but nobody, 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 nobody did. Start. You're supposed to anybody can start. You start. You start. Siju, sir. Siju, sir, start. You start. Somebody start. So who's supposed to start? Everybody said that anybody could do the important thing somebody should do. Everybody knows that anybody could do all the good things that nobody did. Everybody said that anybody could do the important thing somebody should do. Everybody knows that anybody could do all the good things that nobody did. All the good things that nobody did. All the good things that nobody did. Thank you, music department, for keeping us entertained. The events for the academic year 2022 to 2023 will be presented by Mr. Dominic Hurst, the director of activities. How was that lovely song just now? Is that good? 
I think they need a bigger round of applause. Uh, this song is so apt for today. We start the new academic year, and just two days ago, we had a meeting with our president and uh, vice president, and exactly what we actually discussed as doing things in detail, or things won't happen, like putting a platform here. So it is very apt to start with this beautiful song that we are all on track, on track with our planning, with our purpose in life. And not all of us can do big things, great things, but we can do small things well, very, very important. Every single one in our community, from our chechis, to our managers, to your students, every single one is so important and your role really takes us and makes us what we are, every single one. A very good morning to Mr. Jacob, Ms. Sarah Jacob, Ms. Sheila Alexander, the ACM members, our new staff, the old staff, our new students, the old students, a fantastic and a lovely year ahead of you. Surprisingly, but what's, uh, what we really need the most, we speak the most, all of us. Whether you preach or don't preach, whether I speak or not, even I thought of change. Same topic, taking on a deeper level maybe, at different levels. Everyone needs change, and every year we come make resolutions, we need to stick by it and see what's best. There's a very old story, I've heard it a number of times by everyone. A very simple old story, but I'll, I'll say it again because it's so apt for all of us present here. Be it in grade three or be it in grade 10, be it at the top level, at any level. Uh, all of you have seen eagles? It's a very old story, I'm sure you all know the story. Have you all seen eagles? I could put your hands up, please. It's an awesome bird. Can anyone describe the eagle? Anyone? Hard working. Anything else? What's it, what's it known for, actually? Zach? Behind you, next guy. Yeah, go ahead. Super. Okay, one more, last guy. Any, any one more, that's it. Go ahead. Perfect. You, you, you are actually saying what I want to say. Super stuff. Okay, one more last one in the back. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Okay. Say the same story, you will have put it in parts and together. Super stuff. So we all know about the eagle. It's a great... Majestic bird that soars high up in the sky. It can view the entire area so well that it can swoop down anytime and pick up, pick up uh, any of its prey. Now this bird, as it grows older, at the age of around 40, it actually has, as you said, solid, huge beak. It gets curly and turns hard. It has talons, or you call it claws which grows so much, so long and so thick that it can't grip the branch or can't grip its spray. And the feathers turn so big, majestic, right? As you turn, as you turn big and majestic, what happens? It's actually our habits, as Miss said, habits that grow into our system. It makes us, it weighs us down. So these feathers turn heavier and thicker and it can't fly well. And as you said, this at the age of 40, if he wants to survive, he can live till 70 years old, 30 years more. 
But he has one choice. Do I shed my bad habits? Do I shed my wings? Do I knock off my, uh, my beak? Do I knock off my claws, my talons? And it's up to each and every one of us present here whether we decide that or not. A time comes in our lives, for example, you're coming from home now. You slept so well there till, till 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock. I've got to break my habits now. Choice is yours. But now there's no choice once you're back on campus. Choice will be ours. I get up early, why it's good for you. For example, it flies off to that hill, that uh, mountain area alone, and it actually uh, knocks off its, its beak. You have to knock off your old stuff. Very important. The thick, heavy beak, which you think is mighty, it's not mighty anymore. It's got to be knocked off. Your claws have to be knocked off again, completely. And feathers plucked off. For example, if you see the old hospital. Have you seen the new old hospital now? I remember years back, it was huge, nice and strong. And then I felt so sad when I saw the walls being knocked off. One by one, one knocked off, next one knocked off. I saw some pillars. I'll go and see it now. But at the time, I was feeling really sad. I said, look at that wall being knocked off. But today, it's amazing. It's a fantastic place to be. But to build a building or to do a wall, you have engineers. You'll have workers, laborers. But for us, to build yourself, there are no workers and laborers. You have to do it yourself. Knock off your own claws, knock off your own beak, it's painful. It takes the eagle almost 150 days to knock it off and regrow it. And then it lives for another 30 years, not one, two years. That's the amazing story. So our same level of talk is about change, changing our attitudes, changing our habits, our ch we and change what we need to change. Now I'll move straight on to our, our planning for the events. This is very important for our planning because once we're able to change what we have in our minds, I don't say change just for the sake of change, no. Think about it, discuss about it, and then change. Change constructively, not just the color. Why? Why the color? What's the progress in it? And so we, for our co-career, for our entire, not co-career, literally, academics, education is one, and one, one whole thing together, it works together. For our education, a holistic development, we have a lot of pillars in place. And one of the main pillars, you know what is it? It is service learning, very, very important. I'm saying service, we, we don't know how to serve, and that's the problem. That's why I mentioned service learning. There are different techniques of serving, how you serve. You have to serve till it hurts you. If it won't hurt you, you're not serving. And uh, for this academic here, We'll be having our service learning uh, every week. We have to plan that out. And, and to spearhead this uh, task on a weekly basis, I ha we have Mr. Siju, the CAS coordinator, and Mr. Sebastian Francis, our new HD for p And I would like all of you to know that he was involved basically in uh, training the blind team for Tamil Nadu. I think give him a hand for that. Training a blind team and take it to the national level is amazing. And I'm sure we will use all this expertise in, in our service learning, our outreach. It should be different. Be different, make a difference. Very, very important. And feel that you're doing something. Very important. We also have the Duke of Edinburgh International Award, which is also called as the IYP. That's the International Award for Young People. The grade 9 and 10 actually do uh, the bronze. The 11 and 12 do the silver, and then the, the next level is the gold. If you really match up to the level, we have uh, outdoor programs there. We actually ha have the silver and gold at the level. Now for this program, we actually need to go out. Uh, we, we normally do our camping at the farm, and Mr. Jacob actually has done a initiative to have the entire camp done up. He's working on it, I, I've seen some pics of that. But there's a lot of work to do still, and we also have no time. We have to really work to complete our program of the three days camping for our 10 and 12 boys before they get into the real rigor of, uh, of examination and studies. 
We do have a nice, strong mountaineering team which takes you out for adventure. We'll be starting very soon. We have a new recruitment for our mountaineering team. We have three on board. And we also, Mr. Jacob has built a wall climbing area. Fantastic one. Uh, make sure you all use it. And of course, we have a fantastic music program. How many of you love music? If you don't like it, love it. You got no choice for some time. I'll tell you why. You know, uh, for the last few years, I've been here, I'm wondering, hands down, please. Uh, you do your theory, which is compulsory, uh, till gate three, and you get a choice to do your practicals. Now, why grade three? I was wondering myself till I met uh, Asfia last night and asked her, uh, is it really important to grade three? She says, sir, if you want to get into a good college out there, a good university, a minimum is grade three. And so if, if you're able to pull that off, if you do have that, it does add on to your credits. If it's a one and two, really not, not much help. But if it's a three onwards and upwards, it really gives you credit. So I think we are on the right track. And we have enough time this year. See, in a short time of uh, three months, we, we did p do a, a great job. And I'm sure we're going to start from the day, day one, as we go with our TCL theory and our practicals. So we do have almost eight to nine months. And there'll be no excuse not to do it. And not to do it well. There'll be no excuses at all. So start from day one. It is very good for you. It also helps you with your academics. So go for it. Give your best shot. Uh, this year's sports program, we're going to focus on uh, sport literacy. You will play sports, we won't say no, but learning about the sport and why you play the sport will be one of our key takeaways from this year's program. This year, all sports have a program. And your individual coaches will explain to you what is their plan for you, what is their program for you, and not just go and play and run around, no. We will have structured programs in place, and your coaches will update you as to what is the plan for you this year. Now, we did for, uh, share out a sheet for you during the vacation uh, to fill up your sports. Uh, over 380 or so have filled up this score, the first cho choice and second choice and third choice. The reason being, we want to focus and build on your skills. If not, I think I heard Elena yesterday saying, we are going experimenting around. And this is what we want to change this time. There is no experiencing or spending around. We have to focus, check, and see for the first six months, you have two sports, what you like, what you're good at. The coaches will help you out. Obviously, we will have in-house matches in which you will all play different games. Along with your main sport, you will have your different games you'll play for your houses. And your coaches will identify you if you're good and will take you on board for your training, for your specific inter-school matches. Our gates are open. We are into the inter-school competitions now. And so uh, get ready, get warmed up. We're going to start our selections for football for under 14 and the 17 from tomorrow morning at 6 AM. So uh, students who are interested in football for under 14 and, and 17, uh, please report. Your coaches will give you details as to where to report, and we'll have your trials tomorrow morning. We'll start tomorrow morning. It may take two days for us to finalize our, our selection. And something more to that. You will get more time to practice in the mornings, but on conditions of finishing all your other work. Uh, you will be signing a contract. Be very clear about it. So whichever sports we do take up, and you're in the school team, we will give you extra timing, be it in the evening or be it in the morning. Uh, in in conjunction with our, our principal, with our coordinators, we will take time off in the morning, take off for one hour. You may even miss your prep for some time till the training, but your work will not suffer because you're in your contract, you mentioned, I will complete all my work, I will be on time, and it will. That, and if, if you do break it, I'm really sorry, there'll be no second chances, you'll be out of the team, even if you are the best player. So you have scope for all activities, you have scope, but Keeping your word, focusing and not wasting your time is what's really important. Use your time well. Uh, we did try out some clubs last year and it did work a bit, didn't work too well. But this time, 
It'll be structured uh, much better. I'll have it done section-wise, where the sections will be responsible for the clubs, and they will choose what clubs they want in their section. You know, not a random club, and each one will be a middle school separate. We'll have one for primary school, but it'll be section appropriate, based on what they require. And every single staff on board in the section will be involved in, ev in ev every club, giving your input, sharing, and we will kick off the, these clubs in a very formal manner. Once you're ready with your clubs, we'll have inauguration in this auditorium. Each club will have the inauguration plan for inauguration. Once you're in place, I'll, I'll give you at least two weeks' time. No shit all to really form that up, but, but once the club is formed, we will have a formal inauguration and kickstart the clubs properly and formally. Uh, we are having the chess competition shortly in the school zone. And uh, we'll have selections for girls and boys today. Mr. Krishnamurti will be, be in charge of that. And, and his team to uh, select and choose. So meet him today itself, or Krishnamurti will meet you. If you're interested, please reach out to your coordinators or to me and give your names. We'll have, rehearse, we'll have practices today onwards in the evening for the next few days. And then we'll keep this chess running not just for the competition, but we need to have a room set up for you, and we'll have this chess running regularly. Our GSMU uh, is fixed for 28, 29, and 30th of September. We'll have our first meeting of the grade 11s on 27, that's Wednesday at 6 p.m. in the Mowbray Hall. And we'll also have the heads of the grade 12s, who were heads last year, to be part of it, to kickstart the GSMU early this time. Uh, more concrete, we have to give us our deadlines where we have the topics in place. So our meeting is on 27th. Uh, make sure you're, all of you are present. All the 11s and the leaders of grade 12 will assemble in Mowbray Hall to kickstart the GSMU. Interhouse matches do start from 30th of July. The first one being essay writing. It'll be two from each class, from grade five uppers to grade 12. Uh, two per house, per class also. So two from each house, from each class, from grade five to 12. I need the entries by the 28th. Uh, teachers concerned to please share. Uh, then the following week is the short story writing. Again, the same pattern. The idea is once we have this in place, I want a team in place. Uh, volunteers to actually compile the essay writing, short story after they have the competition, compile it into one of our books done by all. So we need, a, we need volunteers to step in and help. Uh, I will take Ria's help without asking her uh, to help us with that. And uh, so the essay writing and the short stories will be put together and we can have a team together of students who will help you out uh, to have it compiled and We'll have the book published. Of course, we have to do a lot of editing on that, but we'll do it and have your work put out. Uh, we have proposed to have the TEDx. It's on. Uh, thanks to Ms. Uh, Rita Chandran. Uh, the date is fixed for uh, 15th Tuesday in November. There's lots of work on board to do that, lots of work to be done, and we'll all put our heads together and put our hands together and make it happen in a real grand way. I think your first meeting is tomorrow. That's also in the Mowbray Hall, I think. Yeah? Now for the prefects. J Jacob, sir, actually has uh, seen a room for the prefect council members just near the boys' gym. It's empty. It's got some sports equipment there, but I'll have it cleared. I can take a few of there to give some ideas how we can arrange that. So your room is done. We have to just arrange it and see what you need in the rooms, what's possible to be put there. And you'll go there with a squad of teachers. At least uh, one teacher you should have when you go there. No shit all, the room is nice and big. It can be used for meetings, for planning. On time, don't worry. On schedule. Uh, Wish you all an enjoyable roller coaster ride, 2022, 2023. I hope you enjoy it. 
It's going to be ups and downs and speed up and down. Enjoy your life here. Wish you happy learning. I wish all our rifle shooters, as at the moment they are in the range shooting, I wish them all the best. Can you give a big hand for them, please? And wish them all the best while they take part at the state level. And if they do qualify, you may, they can also go for the pre nationals. Uh, so, all the best to them. And if that uh, clipping is ready, you can just put it up. That's it. Thank you very much, and have a fantastic year ahead. Thank you, sir, for guiding us through the academic year. Now, the school choir will lead the school and school anthem, followed by the national anthem. All are to rise. Higher standard in God's love, each passing. 